I can't believe I haven't made a GCSE chemistry video yet because GCSE chemistry can be very difficult when you don't understand the topic. So today we're going to go over how to get a 9 in GCSE chemistry and exactly what you need to do in order to get those high marks and to not fall into the traps of writing a lot of information in your questions and then just not getting any marks because I've done that a lot. But before we actually get into the tips, I think we might need a change of outfit. Um, nah, this isn't good. Let's just take this off and get into our first tip. The first thing you need to consider is actually how you can understand the content. And the way I do it is through a variety of things, whether it's flashcards, mind maps, notes, revision guides, just whatever, just find something that works for you and makes it easy for you to understand what's going on. There are a lot of videos and YouTube channels that you can check out as well. So Free Science Lessons is really good for learning the content. I really recommend it. I also recommend Primrose Kitten's videos because she makes really long ones, but she goes through the entire specification all at once and that's really useful as well. So check them both out. Try and check out actual videos of people doing the practicals, especially the practicals that are coming up on the advanced information. Don't bother about the other ones. Just make sure you properly learn those ones inside out like properly learn the steps and understand how to do everything and also make mind maps and things as I've mentioned so there's one over here I've got on chemical analysis which I uh, if I can get out so I don't make mind maps like these for all of my subjects but for chemistry um, I really like making mind maps especially with topics that I just find quite confusing just laying it out like this makes it really easy I also like blurting as well which is basically where you just write all the information that you can remember off the top of your head and then go over everything in a book or whatever and see what you've missed and then re-go over it again and just continue doing it until you remember everything that's a really good form of active recall that you can really embed into your revision especially like before you start a topic just blur everything you know about that topic and see exactly what parts you don't know and what parts like what parts are blank and I also recommend making flashcards obviously at this time right now because we have like a month before our GCSEs I don't recommend starting with flashcards I recommend the next stage which is practice do a lot of practice questions I can literally show you how many practice questions I have for chemistry this folder over here isn't for chemistry alone, it's for all my subjects and you can see how <laughs> thick it is. Uh, and basically, this all over here is just practice questions and let me just get them out for you. I haven't even finished all of these. Every single time our teacher give us practice questions, I would keep them in this folder and just... Now I've got all these practice questions that I can attempt because the more practice you do with chemistry, because it's really important to understand the content, but the other part of chemistry is actually learning how to answer the questions because they're so specific at times, you think you've gotten the right answer, but then you realise, no, you didn't mention exactly what the mark scheme wants, and it's brutal the way they do it. So you need to, for some questions, what I've literally done is I've memorised the mark scheme for them because there's stuff that come up, like, there are a lot of questions that come up every single exam, or one or two exams. It just, it's really important to actually just go over those questions and really learn how to answer them so you don't spend too much time waffling on about things that aren't needed, and also to really get those keywords in and trying to learn everything. So I've got one on atoms and isotopes and things I've got just look at all these practice questions that I have I've just got so many of them um, so I really recommend doing as much practice as you can and obviously if you don't have all these printed questions like I do another thing I recommend doing is to go on to Google and to search exam pro worksheets as well you can literally just type in exam pro and then chemistry and then whatever your topic is and you can find the entire worksheet for it so it's really important to do as much practice as you can I heavily recommend it not just through exam questions I also recommend doing practice through workbooks and like the questions that you find at the back of textbooks try and do those as well so I've got a CGP workbook things are getting quite messy here but I've got this GCC chemistry CGP workbook and it's really useful as well because it's just got all this practice and my aim is because we have a month until our GCSEs to get all this practice done so I'm gonna start off with workbooks and things that aren't specifically exam questions then I'm gonna move on to semi exam questions so things like PMT save my exams some other websites I'm going to list over here and then I recommend going over full-on practice questions so I'm going to look at proper exam questions like these ones and then lastly when I have like a week or two left I'm probably going to start doing past papers and just to fully see exactly if I can do everything in the time pressure and to mark everything as well. So what's the plan for GCSE chemistry then? 
So basically, you just need to learn your content first. So you can do that through free science lessons yeah. or through your revision guides or flashcards or whatever. Just make sure you learn what exactly is in chemistry. And then after that, go on with practice and just do as many practice questions as you can. Start off with just workbooks and practice questions like that. And then move on to exam questions and actual past papers. And if you continue doing that, then yeah, you should get your nine. Exactly. So that is literally all you have to do. And then you should be getting higher grades than you normally will. And if you just continue with your practice, then you should eventually get a nine. Here's an exam question for all of you guys who are doing GCSE 8 QA Chemistry higher, because it hopefully should motivate you to actually get a bit of practice done. So yeah, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.